how to make 3D Shopify store step by step. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you are going to be able to make a 3D Shopify store for yourself in the most incredible and simplest way. And obviously, as we know, 3D model stores are very trendy nowadays and they're pretty popular. OK, and right now I'm going to try to create a store in Shopify while applying the 3D effects at your Shopify store and also see how 3D objects work as a product in Shopify. OK, so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end while trying to apply the same setup as me and let's do this magic together. So to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to go to shopify.com and log into your admin. Okay. If you don't have an account, you can create it right now on a free trial. It's really simple and uh, you don't have to provide any credit card or anything. You just need to have an email and you're good to go. Okay. So to jump directly into this, I do want to mention one thing that creating a 3D Shopify store without a plan, it's kind of impossible. So for this video, if you are building your web store, you do need to buy a you know plan of Shopify. It doesn't matter which plan it is. It just needs to be a premium plan to basically allow us to upload 3D objects to our Shopify store. OK, so first of all, let's see some things at our online store. So we're going to come here. And once you come to this left panel and go to your online store, you can see your current themes. So right now, my current theme is done. OK, that's my stock theme. But as we scroll down, we can see all these themes as well. OK, so these are the popular free themes that Shopify gives us. OK, basically, and uh, you can choose any of these five themes that you want or you can just stay with the dawn theme. OK, they're pretty much free and uh, they're pretty fun to use as well because uh, they have these different widgets and different individual features for each of them. They could give you some mega bars, mega menus, etc. So right now my store is pretty default. OK, so to check my store out, we can come over here and click on view your online store. And once we click over there, as you can see, it's going to load us into my store and in my store. As you can see, it looks like this pretty stock, pretty straightforward. Not a lot of things have been changed in this. And uh, it's a general Shopify store. It's how your Shopify store is supposed to look like. All right. Now, what do generally to start off with your 3D models is you're going to want to make sure that you have an image and video in your Shopify store. OK, so to start editing all these things and uh, managing all these things, you're going to come over to customize. All right. So once you come over to customize, that's going to open up your Shopify editor. And here is your Shopify editor opened up. So if we want to go ahead and add an image or apply an image to this, you're going to click on this. And as you can see, it lets you apply all these filters and images. And same goes with adding a section over here. You can add any type of section, including a video. OK, so if I go ahead and add a video, here's the video widget uploaded over here. Now you can either drop down a YouTube URL for a video or you could simply go ahead and upload a video by yourself. OK, so you could have a complete section where it has a video background and you can put some text buttons and titles above it. So to do so, what you are going to be doing is we're going to be exiting our uh, editor. And once you exit your editor, you are going to come over here where it says edit code. Now, once you go to the edit code file, here it's going to open up the editor where you get, you know, the layout and everything. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down where it gives you these file sections, section snippet, config assets, etc. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to basically create a new section that you will use as a video. OK, so you're going to open up the section folder and here are all the sections that the Shopify theme basically insinuates. OK, these are the sections that it offers. So you can see different things like uh, main list collection, slideshow, etc. But, you know, these are all the things that are already added into your code. OK, these all these sections are created with code. And uh, this is a place where you could get the code for where, you know, what we're going to be insinuating, what we're going to be adding. So to add the code, you're going to click on add a new section. And you're going to make sure to choose liquid. We don't want JavaScript and we're going to give it a file name. So you can name it whatever you want. Like in this case, I'm going to go with video BG. OK, which basically means video background. Once we do that, we're going to click on done. And now that you've clicked on done, as you can see, the asset is now created. So once this asset is created, what you're going to do is you're basically going to 
delete all of these things and you're going to add a code that will basically be the code that we need for our video background. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to write GitHub video background liquid. Okay, so that is what we are going to be writing in. So here's our video background liquid. This is exactly what we're looking for. So you're going to open this up. And once this opens up, what you are going to be doing is you're basically going to copy all of this. Okay, and do make sure to copy all of it because we do need the whole code. So we're simply going to scroll down until it gets copied fully. And now that you have copied all of this, you're going to go to copy. You're going to come to your editor. You're going to click on paste. And now you have the code all in. Okay. So once the code is all in, you can see if it has any unexpected errors. Okay. So in the case it does have errors, what you can do is you can apply formatting to it. So in some cases, it might give you some errors with the name and everything. So in the case, it does give you name errors. Just uh, go ahead and make sure to check out the listings of the reasons of why it gives errors. But generally, even with the errors, it should work because as you can see, the asset is now saved. Now, once the asset is saved, what you're going to do is you're going to exit yourself out of this. And once you exit yourself out of this, as you can see, we now have a video background liquid. OK, the code has been successfully added and now you can actually go ahead and work more in depth with your design. OK, so to work in more depth, you can come over to customize. And once you go over to customize, you're going to wait for this page to load up. Now, once this page loads up, you're going to click on add section once again. And once you click on add section, you are going to scroll down to where it's going to give you video BG. OK, so wherever it shows you video BG, you're going to want to add that section into this. So uh, generally, just find video BG right about here. Like as you can see right here, you're going to add this. And once you've added this, you can easily go ahead and apply this right above your Shopify store section. So let's say I'm going to bring it to the top right over here. And once you have it over here, you can basically add slides into this. So you can easily select any type of video or any type of image if you want to. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and add any advertisement video that I want to in this section. Okay, and it obviously totally depends on the, you know, main size of your video and how long the actual video is. So if it's too big of a size, then I wouldn't exactly recommend you to add it. So do make sure to add a video that, you know, uh, follows the main guidelines. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a video that I think will fit pretty well. So let's go ahead and add this one. So you're simply going to wait for your local video to load in. Shouldn't take a lot of time. So just uh, wait along with it and also do make sure that whatever video you upload matches along with your theme customization. OK, and, you know, I wouldn't prefer uploading a video from this section because this section will cause you to, uh, you know, have longer upload times and everything. I would prefer to start your uploading from this section. OK, go into content and upload all your files over here, because once you've uploaded all your files in this section, from there, you can easily access them in your Shopify store, OK? And you won't have to wait for them to download once again or anything like that. You can simply get them from here. And once you've uploaded them, you can get their link from this section. And once you've gotten the link from this section, what you can do is you can basically hyperlink it with your store and add that video background in your store straight away. Now, moving on. The reason I was telling you that you need an upper plan for Shopify is because you will not be able to upload a video without the upper plan. So if you're on a trial, you will need to make sure that you have the basic Shopify or advanced plans. So, yeah, that's a must to have for yourself, but uh, generally pretty easy stuff to get your head around. Now, moving on, let me show you how file uploading is done. OK. So once we come over here, let's go into our file upload. We're going to click on upload files. And once you click on upload files, what happens over here 
is it's going to load things up for you. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload an image, for example. So I'm going to upload that. And once the image is done uploading, as you can see, it says it exceeds maximum resolution or something like that. If it gives you errors like that, you can easily go ahead and uh, fix the resolution. And once the resolution and all the individualities of those things are fixed, you can make sure to check that out and here you are. So now once this is uploaded and your link is here, you can easily go ahead into your customizer and start customizing all of your widgets. Okay. And customizing all your widgets will obviously lead to, uh, you could say better looks and your store will be a proper 3d store. In my opinion, like you will get proper 3d looks. So once you're over here, you know, just go to select image. And as you can see, the image is already added in your content library. So once we have added this image, it's going to portray itself like this. You can also change your store's coloring schemes and everything. So let's say I'm going to make this a tad bit darker. You're going to do the same over here. Obviously, the store will only look better if its color schemes are good. Okay. So add as many, you know, good color schemes you can think of. So I'm going to add this one over here. So now you can see we have a proper page now. All right. So once you've done this for yourself, now let's go ahead and actually add 3D products into our page. Okay. So 3D products are something that, you know, you can find off over here. So let's say I'm going to write 3D images. Okay. So these are basically 3D files. Uh, so 3D images or 3D image files. Okay. So we have these 3D file formats like OBJ, etc. So you can get them from these uh, different websites. So let's say I'm going to go with this one over here, or you can just go with a 3D car file. Okay. You can write something like that. And so we have these vehicle models that are 3D and obviously I'm going to go with some free 3D file. So let's go with this as well. So we have these 3D files that we can download totally for free. And to download them, you are obviously going to make sure to get the multiple formats for them. Okay, I'm going to click on download. We're going to go with a free download. And there we go. So we have the 3D cartoon style downloads over there. I'm going to do the same over here. These are OBJ images. So let's go ahead with this, the sports car. All right. So I'm going to go with this again. I'm going to go over to download. And once you do that, you are going to go ahead, choose the zip file, and we're simply going to wait for things to download in. And as you can see, these are pretty big files, okay? Because 3D files tend to be pretty big because of the different dimensions that you have to, you know, apply into them. So for now, I'm going to go over to this 3D file. So we have an EPS file over here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my downloads and I'm going to extract this right over here. Now, once it gets extracted, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to make sure my store is saved. We're going to go back. I'm going to exit into the product section. Now in the product section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add product. And once you click on add product, it's going to load things in right into your store. So here I'm going to go ahead and write, let's say 3d model. Okay, we're simply going to write that. And now it says accept images, videos, or 3D models. And that is exactly what we're looking for. So if it doesn't choose or if it doesn't access the file that you generally have, like generally it will take OBJ and blend files. Okay. It won't take uh, any EPS file, I think. So and we have the 3D object OBJ file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the Bugatti zip in my downloads. I'm going to go over and extract. And once we extract, I'm going to close this off and go over to upload new. Once we go over to upload new, here we have our Bugatti file in the downloads. And once you have it in your downloads, you can easily go ahead and upload the existing 3D models into your meta fields. And that is basically how easy it is. And Shopify uh, basically uh, takes a lot of 3D files. Okay, it could be any 3D model file that you can get. But, you know, generally OBJ or the dot blend files that you have. Okay. 
So do make sure to drag and drop the existing or chosen 3D model for yourself and you know verify that your 3D model is accessible and it is uploadable is you can just come over to your content section over here and in your content section do make sure that you have a good glv uzdz file as well so uzdz file you're going to go over here and uh, you can go ahead and uh, write any glv or uzdz let's say i'm going to go like 3d model glv all right you can go ahead and write that in here you get a lot of 3d glv models okay and to access these you can get them pretty easily you can also get it in the uzdz okay and you can get them off of different websites like turbo squid cg trader etc so if you want to create one for yourself as well that is also doable okay so do make sure to get that for yourself but yeah let's say i want to go ahead with this so you're going to add it to your cart and once we add it to our cart do make sure to uh, log into turbo squid if you want to get your models correctly but yeah, once you have done all of that, your 3D model is going to be open to upload over here. And once you've done the uploading for all of that, you're going to come to your online store simply and you're going to start your customization from there. OK, that is basically how easy it is to start a 3D Shopify store. So once your 3D model is in, the image is going to be portrayed as well as the uh, video background that we have accessed in this section. OK. So these are different things that you're going to want to keep in mind to access when it comes to getting a 3D model store. Now, if we go ahead and talk about plans, obviously, as I told you, you aren't going to be able to do this on the free plan. Like you can't even upload 3D models on the free plan. So that's the importance of the upper plans on Shopify. OK, so again, we have plans like the basic plan, Shopify plan, advanced plan and plus plan. OK. So the basic plan obviously is uh, $19 generally. Shopify plan is $49 and advanced is $299. But if you want to use it for the first month, you can get it for a dollar, which is a steal in my opinion. And the features you get are pretty incredible. And obviously, apart from all the features, you can finally create your 3D Shopify store if you want to. So it's all pretty easy and simple when you're using a software like this for yourself. So do make sure to get the upper plans and obviously do make sure to copy the code off of GitHub as well, because without adding that code into your liquid, you will not be able to get the proper accessibilities that you need for your features and for your 3D store. So do make sure to check all those things out for yourself and do make sure to work along with them accordingly. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is when it comes to the store. Now, if I were to give you a whole recap, simply sign up with Shopify, make sure to get a plan out of the three main plans, go ahead and choose a good theme. Okay, the default theme is the Dawn theme, but you can go with the spotlight refresh craft or sense theme as well. Once you do that, you're going to come over to edit code. And once you go to edit code, make sure to go to the bottom most section where it's going to give you sections in sections go ahead and add a new section that gives you this okay video bg liquid go ahead and copy paste the code that i gave you for your github and once you've copy pasted the code that should basically run the main section for the video background liquid and once that main section is run Go ahead, upload a 3D model image. It could be an OBS, UZDZ, or GLB. And once you've uploaded those, create a product image for yourself. Upload it into your Dawn theme. Customize your Dawn themes, coloring, and stylings according to yourself. And you are set to go. That is how you are going to be creating a 3D model Shopify store for yourself in the easiest way. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.